18 people bought this in the last 24 hours. This is amazing. And it's like, it looks like it's so difficult to make, but it's really not. You get the molds, these kind of things right here. You guys, it's literally right here. Look at this. These waffle mold silicones right here, y'all. Today, you guys are gonna get the full guide on how you can start a candle making business using Timu. You guys can sell this on Etsy. You guys can have your own website platform. I'm gonna give you guys every single thing that you need. If you've never heard of Timu, it's a very popular platform that does retail and wholesale. They have everything you need. They have free shipping. They have all kinds of different listings and they have really cheap prices. I'm gonna go through every single thing you're gonna need to start this candle making business from the shipping supplies to the stuff that you're gonna need to store your products. So really quick, some of the pros to using Timu are they have after pay. You guys can split your payments into four ways in case you don't have the money all up front and it's interest free, which is the only reason I'm sharing this because I'm all for interest free splitting payments. I know that they have free shipping to most places shipping times are different depending on your location but relatively it's usually quick they have fast shipping to most places they have cheap products and they have good quality here are some must-haves for starting a candle business you're gonna of course need the wax you're gonna need the wicks you're gonna need fragrance oil for different smells for your candles you're gonna need the coloring powder in case you want to have different colors for your candles you're gonna need the candle jars of course you're gonna need candle care cards so that when your customer receives the candles they also have a care card so they know exactly like because everybody's candle is not the same sometimes i've heard of candle businesses they've had candles that they don't include a care card and customers have ended up just like almost catching things on fire. So depending on the type of wicks that you use, you know, some people use different materials. Some people use wood, some people use other kinds. So it depends, you need a candle care card. You're gonna need labels for your candles to tell which flavor, what kind of smell, all of that. You're gonna need packing supplies for your candles, whether this is the mailers that you're gonna mail them in or the bubble wrap to wrap your candle so that, you know, of course it doesn't break before it gets to your customer. You guys are also gonna need labels for the bottom of your candle that just gives the customers like a hazard warning for burning. You're gonna wanna have a thermometer. You're gonna need a heat gun and you are gonna need patience because y'all, there is a testing process when it comes to making candles that a lot of people don't even talk about, but there is a testing process where you have to test your candle out. You test your wick. There's a whole process, which I'm going to try to cover later in the video. So here are some different types of homemade candles that a lot of people use for different reasons. And you want to find your candle niche. Like what kind of candles do you want to offer to your customers? What's different about your candles that theirs doesn't have? What can you leverage about your candles that will make them sell? So the different types of homemade candles are soy, scented, vegan, and decorative candles. You know, there are some candles that people have that just look pretty, but they don't smell good. And there are those candles that smell so good, but they don't look pretty. And here is a fun fact. So eight ounce candles are actually the most popular size. So when you're choosing your sizes for candles, go for eight ounce, like get more of those because they are the most popular for different reasons. Here are some different tools that you guys are gonna need for your candle business. You're gonna need Canva. You guys should have Canva just as a business owner in general. If you do not have Canva, then please download it on your phone. You're gonna use this a lot. But specifically for candles, you're gonna use Canva to make the labels, whether it's for the bottom of the candle or for on the candle. You're gonna need photo room to remove backgrounds because I mean, look, you guys can remove backgrounds in Canva, but that's only if you have Canva Pro. If you guys want a free way to remove backgrounds, you know, for transparency, you know, like when you have something, an image, and then you want it transparent on the back, that is what you're gonna use photo room for because it's free. Next, you're going to need Timu for your wholesale, of course, all your different candle wholesale needs. And then, of course, y'all are going to need Etsy to get ideas because Etsy is where all of the ideas are. This is where we're going to go through Etsy ourselves in the video, but this is where you guys are going to get all your different ideas of different kind of candle designs and you guys can just browse using Etsy. Okay, so y'all, first we're going to go inside of Etsy and like just look at some different candles. I just typed in Etsy, what in the world? We're just going to look up some different candles that people are selling to get some ideas. These are like kind of basic ones, but if you want to go for that clean, elegant, basic look, that's actually a good idea. It just depends on your niche. You know what you want to do. Do you want to do like some silly, cool candles, like some funny ones? Because some people make like funny candles. Kind of like this, like this right here, this middle finger candle. What in the world? But let's see if people have purchased. It looks like 18 people bought this in the last 24 hours. Yeah. This is something I've actually never seen before, so... But yeah, funny candles. Some people make things like that. Some people do... I love making custom candles. Ooh, custom candles. Okay, this is actually a really good idea because you see how these are like custom text. This is actually really good. Four people bought this in the last 24 hours. Y'all, this is a really good idea. 
customized gifts are the best and they're really good sellers on Etsy. This person is selling wax flakes, but girl, this is not what we're here for because we are going to be getting our stuff from Timu, not Etsy, because Etsy is going to be way more expensive if you want to get your stuff. Sarah's last nerve. Oh, look, it's on fire. You guys, this is a funny one. Oh my gosh, October Girls are sunshine with a little hurricane. I love this one right here. This is actually the one you guys see in my thumbnail. So let me shout this business out just because I used their photo in my thumbnail, okay? But this right here looks so cool. And you guys can literally do things like the in 20 plus carts. Okay. $22 for this candle. Okay. It's a little expensive, you guys. But I think it's cute and probably worth it. Let's see. But yeah, look at all these different ones. But what I really want you guys to pay attention to are the candles that a lot of people, it'll be harder to make and you guys want to find something that's not like as saturated. This is it right here. So let's type up like, um, I think like um, dessert candles, something like that. I think those are the cutest. Dessert candles I think are so cute and unique. Look at something like this, bro. This is amazing. And it's like, it looks like it's so difficult to make, but it's really not. You get the molds. These kind of things right here, you can find on Timu. Let's just see if we can actually find um, a waffle. <laughs> Hold up. Waffle mold silicone? Can we find it? You guys, it's literally right here. Look at this. These waffle mold silicones right here, y'all waffle molds you get the blueberry molds you get the butter molds and this little thing that looks like honey is probably i don't know y'all have to figure that out but anyways you can do this literally with timu if you guys can see there's so many different kind of you want to get one that looks more realistic i think this one right here probably looks the most realistic you see how it says realistic waffle shaped silicone mold for candles right candle making yes this is what y'all need right here okay let's look at some other ones y'all I really like these as well. This one has a really great one right here. All these dessert candles just look so cool. Banana pudding, pumpkin. Oh, y'all, I love these. The chocolate fudge. Let's see if we can see if there's anybody who has sold in the last 24 hours, okay? In 20 plus carts, okay? Maybe they won't always tell us. I have no idea, but let's see. Okay, these are in a lot of carts. But you guys get the picture. Here's some ideas, okay? So let's just now go to Timu and we're gonna go through like different supplies that you're gonna need to start a candle business. And we're gonna try to keep it under what, y'all? $100. Like when I make my thumbnails, I'm for real. Like I'm not just trying to clickbait people. I am very serious about staying under that price, okay? So let's go to checkout. Not checkout, what am I doing? Let's go to the cart is what I meant, okay? And we're going to clear the card out because, y'all, this is not why we're here right now. This is not why we're here, okay? We are here to start a candle business. And this is such a low-cost business model, and y'all need to start it, seriously. Like, if you want to be, if you want to keep it under a certain amount of money, and you also want to make some good money from it, it's the candle market. Because people, as you can see on Etsy, y'all, how much are these people charging for their candles? Hold up. How much? Wait, let me just search up candles. How much are people charging for their candles, y'all? $25. What kind of candle is this to be $25? But as y'all can see, people are purchasing. People are actually purchasing. Let's look at the reviews. Beautiful candle. Can't wait to burn. Beautiful. I'm so happy with my order. Sell was so helpful. These people are selling these candles for $25. And you know, it does not take $25 to make, okay? Iced matcha. Okay, this is actually a really, really good one. Y'all know matcha is trending right now. You need to be making these kind of candles. And of course, every single person who's watching this video has different ideas. You have your own unique ideas. So put them to the test when it comes to your business. While I have you guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's continue. Firstly, you guys are of course gonna need wax to start a candle business. So let's look up wax. We have all this wax right here, y'all. Soy wax. Okay, so soy wax is the most popular. Remember I told you guys earlier the different kind of waxes you have? You have soy wax, you have vegan, the vegan candle. Um, What other kinds were there? There's a decorative, whatever. But soy vegan, those are both different. There was one more though. Let me see if I can find it because I should have it on here scented. Anyways, soy and vegan. Let's see if they also have, I'm going to say um, vegan wax candle making 
And if if you are a candle making expert, you guys can correct me in the comments and be like, girl, what do you mean vegan wax? But from what I was seeing, I usually do my research. And it was saying that vegan wax was a different kind than soy wax. But it doesn't look like Timu has the vegan one, which makes sense because, you know, Timu is one of those like cheaper places and vegan wax may be like a lot more expensive. But it's okay. Y'all don't need no vegan wax. You Let's go for soy wax, okay? This is probably, like, the most common. And most people probably use um, soy wax. You know what? Let me see on Etsy just for funsies to see if they have... Um, I'm going to search a vegan candle just to see, y'all. Vegan candle. Do we have anybody actually having a vegan candle? I mean, we, we're getting some results. So let's look at this one. This ice latte right here. Wooden wick. Okay. Soy wax. Okay, you see how it says organic soy wax? So I don't know, y'all. I don't even know. I don't even know if vegan wax is like a thing that people even care about. So let's just go for soy, y'all, because this is what we need. Soy wax for candle making, okay? So 20 pounds. Y'all, you know we're on a budget, so we can't be going crazy. One pound of soy wax. Let's say to start our business, we're gonna start little, you know, we don't wanna go crazy. But this one looks, you know what, two pound. How many pounds is this one? This one's one pound, okay. Let's go back. One pound is right there, and then we have two pound soy wax making set, okay? And it has soy wax in there, two pounds of it for 15. I think this is a better option, okay? But let's see, um, I'm going to add this to the cart. If I find a better one, then I'll be like, okay, we'll go for a different one. But let's look at the reviews really quick. You already know I'm all about reviews. We have pictures. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's look at the pictures, photos, and videos right here. Let me mute this because that's kind of like ridiculous. But you know what? It's okay. We'll unmute it. Oh, she's just showing, like, what's in there. Okay. Cool, Zs. Well, at least we see it's legit, y'all. I love this item. I can't wait for the rest of my order to come so I can get to work. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. So, this looks like a good one. I went ahead and added it to the cart. The next thing you guys are going to need are the wicks. What kind of wicks do you want? What kind of wick do you want for your... For your candle, do you want wooden wicks? Do you want the regular ones? I don't know if Timo has the wooden ones, y'all, but we are about to see because, yes, they do. They have the wooden ones. I love it. So they have options on here. You have options. And I think that the wooden wicks look more um, elegant. I think it looks more expensive. And you can probably charge more with the wooden wick. But let's see, y'all. Let's do our research a little bit. Good quality, happy with nice burning wood wicks. Okay, y'all, so we already have some good reviews on it. So you get two, y'all, this is such a good business. 260 pieces for $6. 450 pieces for $11.98. I think, y'all, with my business, I think we're gonna go for the wooden pieces. What is this that it comes with? I don't even know. Oh, wow, and it comes, no way, y'all. It comes with 50 pieces. It looks like these are something to put on the candle. I'm not sure. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and add this wooden wicks to the cart. But let's look at the other wicks, y'all, just to see. We also have these kind of wicks for people who want, like, the other kind. Let's see if people have any photos of, like, how it looks with their thingies. Let's see, photos, videos. We have one. Y'all, they did not even... Why are people doing that? Like, if you're going to put a photo for the review, put the right photo. Don't put a picture of a shirt if you're buying wicks. Come on now, that's just... They're just trying to get credit. You know, you get, like, free credit if you do reviews with a photo, and that's exactly what they're doing. They do the same thing on Sheen, y'all. It's so ridiculous. You guys are going to need fragrance oil for your business. So let's look at the fragrance oils that they have for your candle-making business on Timu. Look at all of these options. So many options. You have fruit scent like melon, cherry, blueberry. This is amazing. 1.2K plus sold. So this is a very popular listing. This is a whole kit right here. And these things are so cheap. You can definitely start this. Um, like, I love how this whole video is about candle making because see, in my first Timu video, I did like a segment, like the tiniest segment for candle making, but this video is dedicated to candle making. So we're gonna go through everything that you're gonna need. And so we have bakery scents. This is okay. So y'all, the ones that I was showing you on Etsy, like the dessert kind of candles with, look at these kind of scents. 
these are the fragrances that you're going to need for those kind of uh, candles. And I'm thinking, since this is what I want to do, like the bakery kind of like dessert candle making, I'm going to go for these right here, like pumpkin pie, oatmeal cookie. Uh, what other kinds do they have? Do they show more? Vegan and cruelty free. Look at this. Good quality products. This right here. Yeah. So we have, what do we have, y'all? Cinnamon, apple, oatmeal, cookie, pumpkin pie, chocolate chip cookie, cream and van vanilla, cornbread, brandy, s cornbread? Cornbread candle. I wonder how that smells, y'all. I mean, it smells good in real life, but like on a candle, I have no idea. Gingerbread. Ooh, I bet that one smells so good. Coffee cake, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, coconut cream, banana nut bread. All of these flavors sound very desserty. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the cart, y'all. It's kind of expensive though, not gonna lie. But let's see what the comments, uh, I mean, the reviews have to say about the smell. Somebody said, I use it in my humidifier. Okay, so they said it works well. They like the smell, so let's do it. It's a little pricey, but I think for our candles, like, it's gonna smell really good. So next for our business, we're gonna need the color powder because when it comes to your business, y'all, oh, you know what, what am I doing? I have to search up, um... So we're going to search up the color powder for candle making. Look at all of these options, y'all. So many options, 24 colors. And as you guys can see, 1.9K plus sold, y'all. It's like, I really do feel bad for the people who have a candle making business and they use Timu for their wholesaler. But it's also like, bro, there's 7 billion, over 7 billion people in the world. Like, even if, say, say 100,000 people sees this video right here, people are mad about it, but it's just like, bro, the 100,000 people that see this video are not all going to take action and actually start a business. Say 1,000 people out of that take action from my video, even though that's even unlikely, but say 1,000 people out of 100,000 actually take action, go on Timu, start getting their wholesale from here. It's, I doubt it's going to increase prices. If anything, when you have more demand for products and you're making a lot of money, you can even make prices lower. So I don't know. I do think that there's so many people in the world that it's like adding a thousand people now that they use Timu as their wholesaler. I don't think that's going to really make a difference, honestly, like competition wise, even maybe not. It just depends on what you're bringing to the table. But anyways, y'all, let's look at these. So powders, we got this one, 24 colors. We're going to get like a nice amount of colors because you're going to need colors for different things. 1.9K sold though. I kind of like that, y'all. I established one year ago, 9.8K, 30 colors. Okay, let's look at this one really quick, y'all. Let's look at this one, y'all. Okay, so see all reviews, photos. So these, a lot of people are using, mm, yes, y'all. This person gave a five-star review and they're using it for candles. So let's look at their pictures. So they're showing, um, I like it. I think it's a very nice, okay. This pink looks really good. Let's see y'all. And it says that this person purchased it twice, which I really like about Timu because they show you like how many times people purchase. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see y'all. So they came back for more. But this is how they look. They come in these packs right here, which is also the same for like lip gloss making. They come in like little packs like that. Um, so we're going to keep this idea, but we're going to go back and we're just going to look at the this one right here. I feel like this is better for so many reasons. Because it's like in actual like little bottles. Like, let's see. Great colors. They mix well with wax for making candles. I have purchased this a few times and I am sure I will be getting more. Thank you, Josie, for the very detailed review. So let's look at these. Yeah, guys, we're going to go for the good one, you know. Look at this set right here. This is a really nice set. And I feel like it has less pigments, but I feel like it might be better quality. Who knows? But uh, let's see if anybody shows their candle with it. Because, y'all, sometimes I like to see what is this unable to get candle out of mold easily without breaking. Y'all, this has nothing to do with the color. Like, what in the world? Anyways. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just add this one to the cart. Okay. Next, y'all, the fun part is candle jars. Your candle jar will make or break if people are actually going to shop with you. So let's look at um, candle jars whole. Let me search up candle jars wholesale. So, I really like the glass look. Okay, I really do like the glass. Looking for a dessert one, you will probably want the glass. So let's let's specifically put glass candle jars because that's what I want. 
You know, let's go back to Etsy. I'm going to look at the dessert candles and see... I'm going to look up the dessert candles and see if they're more, more in like glass jars, like see-through. Yeah, they are. So this is the type of research I'm telling you guys to do. You want glass. Glass looks better, okay? So let's do glass. Okay, so... Hmm. Eight ounce does the best. Let's see what sizes they have on here. Like what size candles these are. more about this item 14 ounces oh okay that's pretty huge y'all that's actually pretty darn big that's why it's 21 that makes sense six ounce 12 piece set okay um 12 pieces these are actually really good prices you guys frosted glass now we don't need frosted we need like clear candle jars y'all 15 ounce, oh no, 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 six ounces. But six ounces, I feel like is a little bit too small. $40, that is a lot of money, okay? No, we can't be doing that. Let's get very specific. Let's do, search up like eight ounce or something like that. Okay, 12 piece set, y'all, let's see, $20. Four to eight ounce, so 12 large empty cups with lids plus pen plus label paper. Okay. What size is this is what I'm trying to figure out. Let's see y'all. Whoa, y'all. C delivery 18 to 35 business days. That is a long time. What in the world? Hold up. And they're charging that much? And it's you're talking about this is coming like Alibaba type of stuff. No, we don't need it to be taking that long to come. Let's look at this one. Hold up. Let's see. 12 pack eight ounces even this is pretty expensive i'm actually shocked i didn't expect it to be this much y'all because this is like cutting into our budget like very heavily but it says good quality product um this is why candles cost a lot of money y'all this is why they're expensive because how much is this per unit like if we're paying 53 dollars for 12 candles that is $4 per jar. Is this normal? Is this normal, y'all? I don't know. Let's let's see if we can find a better deal because this is kind of ridiculous, honestly. Very expensive, but I know probably because it's glass candle jars. But let's see, y'all. If you have a candle making business, comment down below like how much they usually cost you per jar to, to buy wholesale. Um, 15 pack. But see, these also come with candle wicks and like little labels. But y'all, we don't want those labels. We need to custom make ours on Canva. Like I don't want a one that has all of this. That's why they're trying to charge more because they have that. But it's just like, bro, we don't need all of that. All we need are the jars. And I'm just not finding it. Hold up. Let's see. Forget the eight ounces. How about we just put just glass candle jars wholesale? Because it's taking away a lot of listings for for that okay let's see y'all i feel like this is a six ounce one is this a six ounce four to eight ounces large okay so this one is the eight ounce this is eight ounces which is a 12 pack this is a good one y'all so we're gonna go for this one right here um 12 pieces for 20 dollars. that's not bad actually Let's look at some reviews, y'all. Useful, good quality, great item, excellent, five out of five. Okay, yeah, so it looks like people are liking it. So we're going to go ahead and just add this one to the cart. It looks like it takes a while to come, but, you know, look, if it's cheaper, then we'll just go for it. So let's go to the cart now. We're at $77.75, and I feel like I'd added something to... Because I had added a whole kit right here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So the next thing you guys are going to need are candle labels. And we're going to see if you're able to customize them on Timu. If you're able to, then that's going to be amazing. So candle labels. Custom is what I should put. So candle labels custom. Custom candle label. Yeah, okay. 10 pieces. Da, 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 da. Add logo photo here. 
yeah so we're gonna go ahead and just go with a custom listing um so you guys will make this design in canva and then you're gonna go on here and put your custom upload let me see let me look at the reviews first of all to see if they have any and they put a photo okay good they said they turned out great and they were super easy to apply let's look at it cardigan um yo i don't know if i like that honestly <laughs> uh what let me see if they let you upload a photo or if it has to be let me see, two, three, ten pieces, four, ten pieces, five. What size is this? So all of them are ten pieces, but it looks like they're all different sizes. Three inches by something. So this is going to depend um, on your candle, but I don't think you need it too huge, honestly. So we're going to go for this one, press personal, but this is very cheap. This is very cheap stuff. So even if we go for a bigger one... It's not even a big difference. So anyways, personalize. So this is only personalizing text and we don't want that. We need photo personalization. So kind of like this one right here. Let's see if there's any like uh, photo reviews on here. There's no photo reviews. So you're going to have to kind of just take a leap on this one and just go for it. So you can add a photo. You can add a photo in for customization for your candle label. So I have to add something in order to actually get this listing. So I'm just going to put this bag right here. Okay. Add to cart <laughs> just so I can add it to the cart for, you know, our total. Next, you're going to need the labels for the bottom of the candle warning. For candles. Let's go here. Yeah, you see like these warning thingies. So you guys can literally just buy these and put it on the bottom of your candle. This is a, this is a pretty good listing right here. We'll just go ahead and add this one to the cart. Next, of course, you're going to need the pitcher and the pot to melt the candle. So it's kind of like the candle kit. So we'll just look at some candle kits really quick. And let's see. This is the one that I think we added to the cart, right? And yeah, yeah. So you guys can get either one of these kits right here. I already added one to the cart, so we're good. Or a kit like this. These cost a little more, but let's see if they have a heat gun for candles. And this is where you're gonna test out your wicks with this heat gun right here. This is like a part of the testing process. So something like this. So we're gonna need one of these, y'all. Let's try to get a pretty good one, but not too expensive. Like, uh, this seems like a good one right here. We'll, we'll add this one, add to cart. And we're almost to that $100 threshold. Okay, so now you guys are going to need a scale. So let's go for this one right here. Add to cart. Uh, this one's fine. And of course, you guys are going to need those candle care cards. This is something you can also get from Timu. So as you guys can see for like 50 pieces, this is actually really, really good. I love these right here. You could even just use these like generic candle care cards. Just, you know, some people, whatever. It just looks professional. And then, of course, lastly, we're not going to spend too much time on this, but shipping supplies is where you're going to get... All of the things that you're going to need for your candle business. You're going to, of course, need bubble wrap. You're going to need some bubble wrap, y'all. So we're going to add some bubble wrap to the cot. We are a little bit over budget, but it's okay. And uh, mailer boxes. You got to figure out which mailer boxes is going to be the perfect size for your little candles, your bigger candles, because you can sell different kinds. I think that... These are all great, but as you can see, let's go to our cart. So as you guys can see, we're at 106.94. This is such a good total for every single thing you're going to need to start this candle business. You got the kit, you got the fragrances, the colors, like it's not actually much to this when it comes to purchasing. And y'all can go ahead and list this on Etsy, your own website, multiple things, do whatever you need to do to get your business out there. And like I said, pop-up shops, y'all, pop-up shops. So this part is going to be how to market your candle business. Y'all are going to need the marketing aspect of your business because if this part is not on point, your sales are not going to be on point. So firstly, you guys can do pop-up shops. I see so many candle business owners who hand make their candles. There's a lot of pop-up shops that actually, like if you're hand making your products, they will charge you a lower fee, like vendor fee versus if somebody is selling like ready-made products. So leverage the fact that you're hand making products and go to a pop-up shop, pay a lower fee, and you guys will probably do really good. It just like depends on like how your candles 
candles look, how they smell, because people are actually in person and they can just pick your candle up and smell it. So if your candle is not smelling right, then I don't know what to tell you. The second way you're going to want to market your business is using social media online, of course. So a lot of people use TikTok for their candle businesses because, you know, like you can just record every single thing that you do for your candle business while you're making it, get different angles. You know how easy it is to create a bunch of content using TikTok? If you guys just want to do like little 10 second video, 20 second video, you can just do a bunch of different like angles, different things you're doing, show you melting the candle wax, show you adding color to it, just show every single thing that you do for your candle business. Next, of course, you guys can do giveaways to market your business, especially when you're just starting out. You want to go on Instagrams to have a giveaway, whether you're giving away candles that you sell, this is a good marketing tactic, especially if your candles look beautiful. Like even if people don't want to like actually shop with you, they will want to enter for free stuff. You know, if you're having a giveaway and you're giving away free stuff, there will be people that will follow you and do all of the things to enter the giveaway just so they can potentially win something for free. So you definitely want to go ahead and do that. Fourthly, you want to build your brand identity for marketing purposes. Like imagine if you have like the most beautiful labels, like there's something about your business logo, the labels, the packaging, when they get their order, they open it up. You know how like when you receive a very beautiful order, you might just be inclined to open the package and take a picture or take a video or something, post it on your story on Instagram. You will see a lot of people actually do this. This is how people get free marketing because of their like packaging, their logo, their brand identity. Their brand identity is so strong and like pretty that people want to show. It's like, bro, this is so cute. Look at this cute little package I just got from this business or whatever. Fifthly, you want to have a small business community like the one that I have on Instagram. If you guys want to join that, comment down below. I will add you to the small business group for sure. Over there, we support each other's Instagram posts. We like, we comment. But if you guys are a new business, especially join this group. All my new business owners, comment down below and I will put you guys in the group. I'm also thinking about starting a group for YouTubers. So if y'all are interested in that, let me know. Number six is going to be optimizing your website for SEO. Number seven is going to be email marketing. And number eight is going to be SMS text messaging. So email marketing and SMS text messaging is going to be like kind of like very similar, but of course it's emails and phone texts. And people usually do respond to the text more than they will respond to emails. And you know, I'm not saying like they're going to respond to you, but SMS text marketing is usually more effective than email marketing is, but they both work very well. So definitely integrate both into your business. 